She received 33% of the vote, unable to form a government. How will that government be formed? It will be formed in the back rooms. It won't be formed anywhere near the ballot box or the people who elected on that day. And to me, that has got to be one of the most unfair systems in creating a government. But, Honourable Lady, I'm very pleased to give way. I am very grateful that he's giving way. I always love it when other people uh, uh, talk with such conviction about areas that they're not necessarily knowing so much about. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> And I would challenge him that he knows more about Germany than I do. Um, a coalition government does not mean it is an unfair government. It is a coalition government where several parties or two parties are coming together to form a government to bring several views together rather than just the view of one party. That doesn't mean it is an unfair government and it also doesn't mean that people don't know um, what the result of that government is going to be. It is a coming together of views. It creates a better democracy and better governance. Well, I, I thank the Honourable Lady for uh, that, that view and perception. But she must realise that in these coalition last room, uh, back room deals, it could be the most small party that has been rejected virtually nationally that holds that balance of power in which, in which we don't need the DUP. Not, not to that extent. We are grateful to have them. It's not that it, can I just finish this point? This is, in Germany, it's often the Greens that hold the balance. In this, in this country, deals are generally done with parties of a similar persuasion. That's exactly what we have with the maintenance agreement we have with the DUP. What is, what is wrong with smaller parties having a say in government? It is some, sometimes very, very healthy and it is a great sign of democracy when also smaller parties can have a say in government.